Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I'm a cloudy sheep and we are playing Rule the Waves as the US, um, currently in a war against Russia. We've just finished our two first um, battle cruisers, the Lexington class ships over here, uh, 12 inch guns only, uh, but decently armored, um, decent speed I would say. Uh, we are currently making some money. Um, and we could design something new, but I think I want to wait just a couple of turns to maybe get a bit of a buffer and uh, and then build up something. Ooh, there we go. Uh, medium range submarines, that is an interesting uh, development. Some stuff going on, cruise action, certainly we're going to accept that. Yep, nothing much there. All right, um, with that said, I think with the medium range um, submarines, we could um, decide to build a couple. Um, could even build like 10. Uh, how many do the other nations have? Do we even know that? Yeah, we do. We do have a couple. Um, I think that might be a good choice. Let's build around 10 submarines. There we go. Um, <laughs> sorry. There we go. Uh, nope. Like so. There we go, so first 10 submarines are going to be built. And that leaves us as barely a positive um, number. There we go, gaining some victory points, that's very nice. Um, neutral piece, white piece basically. Um, I don't think we should get them off lightly. There we go, some more uh, anti submarine warfare capabilities, some more points going this way and that. Mm. Pittsburgh intercepts a ship. Um, although I think Pittsburgh was one of these really weird designs, isn't it? Um, and this is San Francisco class, uh, San Diego class. Actually, one of our nicest ships, I feel. Oh, and the Pittsburgh is up here. Okay, so I hope that they are in the same. Yeah, I think that's one of our very, very old um, class ships with the sort of interesting layout with this, with these guns over here. Um, we'll have to see. Okay. Um, right then. Um, let's directly say that you guys um, are you in the search line. Okay. So I think I need to. But I'm running before we meet someone. There we go. This is our range. And um, so now, guys, um, can I get you to get into the line ahead? Thank you. Lovely. Go to max speed. Um, go to water over here. Cut in. Cut in further. Okay, so how are these guys looking? A lot of six inch guns. Because we really had much better longer range guns. Right then, let's try to keep our distance. Let's go in five minute intervals. They are certainly trying to close in, so let's try to run away for a bit. to see. Um, are they going quicker than we are? 20 knots. We are going 22. I think that information is not wholly accurate, so we might in fact be going somewhat at a somewhat similar speed. Pittsburgh should open up. Why are you... Can you just follow that as part of the core? Right then. Uh, let's go a bit more southerly. There we go, not quite as southerly anymore. Presumably they are now firing on each other. How about you? It's back. Yeah, yeah, I think you're all firing on each other. So, San Francisco, your fronter is engaged. That's very lovely to see. And I want that to be the case. In particular, these guys are now firing on each other, which seems to be the case. Then I do think that it would make sense to sort of. Disable their speed. Um, very lovely to see. Let's then go to cruise speed mm, and sort of zigzag in front of here. Back.
Ten away, it seems. Let's go up here. Oh, it's my turret jammed. All of your turrets are jammed? No, that can't be. What's going on, San Francisco? Both of your turrets? Oh, are you empty? No. What's going on? Are supposedly maybe a bug on the. I did hit it with the ten-inch guns. Come on. Let's go next. Keep up the pressure. Uh, also, just maybe I should go to the line of breeze formation. Just so we get it out with the speed of it. Just so. <laughs> Pittsburgh to be next to me so that both of these can use their frontal turrets. Although you just seem to be stupid about this, so maybe not. Come on, catch it. Go past. Come on. Well, you gotta read they like Let's turn north with them. Hit the turn jammed again. Slightly in. Go, come on. Just run continuously now. Well, now and then firing your gun, so that's okay. Although you don't seem to be hitting much. I think your front turrets are probably out of ammo. Yeah, they are. Pittsburgh as well. Can you go any faster? You can. You do so. Uh, San Francisco is now pulling ahead from the Pittsburgh. And not really that much closer to the Bayon, I feel. That was a 6 inch hit. Well. Blair. Yeah, there we go. Night time now. Oh. Dawn. We know it's not a battleship, come on. We, we know it's a Um, Let's go minute by minute because we might actually find each other somewhat surprisingly. Five minutes. Nothing fun. Yeah, then I think we won't find that. Oh well. Let's get back into the search line. Maybe. Just maybe. Although I think we can go down and back to the top. Um, what's a cruise speed? I think it's appropriate. Um, you are no. Find anyone. Oh, come on. Heavy damage. Oh, he's a stupid torpedoes. And of course the enemy grid. Three trip points for that. Alright, alright. Monthly balance is surprisingly fine. Um not sure why that is. Submarines are still being built, certainly. Um all of this is being built still, so not really sure, though I think we can certainly make use of another light cruise up the Tacoma class, so I'm gonna build that. Get something with T. 
task menu. Yeah. Oh well, whatever. Right, monthly bill costs are still fine. It's really that cheap. Hmm, they are certainly not that expensive. Maybe two more, six light cruisers. I think that wouldn't be too shabby. There we go. Yeah. Let's go. Um, the battle cruisers have finished working up. Well on the way to understand triple turrets. That's good to see. Superimposed turrets on heavy cruisers. Also interesting to see. Well, it's mostly Russians. Raleigh. Raleigh is serving us nicely, I have to say. It's a Des Moines class, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think we've seen it in many, many battles. Right then, uh, let's set everything up. What time is it? Um, it's morning. There's a ship, and okay, it's not going to that direction, so let's try to catch it. Six 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 inch guns. Um, we have actually very much the same broadside, I believe. So let's make use of that. Um, like so. Are you all right? One hit. Um, yeah, the five inch uh, five guns are firing. Are they are shooting us? Three medium hits, one light hit. Plotting is okay. Rolling limits flowing. Oh yeah, speed is really bad. I uh, know. Light damage on them. I don't think they were shooting us there. Um, let's turn this off just to see. Yeah, we are really, really slow. Um, let's make sure. And the wind. Rolling critical hit. Um, Can you come down here so that the wind isn't blowing that disfavorable to us? Where my torpedo is now. Come on, go, go straight south. Good hits. All your guns are still in action, that's nice to see. Um, can we get details on this hit chance? So, crew quality is okay, target size, yeah, that's all. Negative, under fire, smoke interference, yeah, that's, that's a bit of the issue. Still, on the other hand, one of our turrets is now destroyed. Um, so, can you make your way north, just to turn? God damn it. Hit on them. We are now fully stopped, more or less. Come on, hit them. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Things aren't, aren't going well. Um, as fast as you can, go somewhere to this direction, I believe. The right side is slightly better off. Yeah, two more guns. The one of them is ultimately destroyed. I don't suppose you have any torpedoes, do you? Do you do? Um. If possible, I would like to get downwind of you. But you're much Yeah, this isn't going great. Um, Just as I say, this has been a very uh, nice ship all over. Um, uh, yeah, but we got just two little hits. That's it. 
I don't think it's an inherent design flaw, but it's still disappointing. So what's really grinding on so long? So let's see, our battle cruisers are now ready. Um, let's look at the almanac. Uh, we do have two battle cruisers. The Russians have two as well. Ours are a bit um, stronger in Tomash. Eight 12 inch guns. Theirs have. Bigger guns, certainly much, much bigger guns, but much lower speed as well. So I think we are, we should be able to um, determine whether we want to fight or not. And the question is, where's the point in that if we have eight 12 inch guns that we can use? Where's these guys have 12 13 inch guns? So 15, 50% more guns with a higher caliber as well, eight belt, uh, eight inch belt armor. Whereas here we really have 9 inches, it's a bit better. Um, I think they're 12. To be honest, I think at this point probably that was a silly design. But even this one, ah, well, but it's paper thin armor. And it's Arovich. It's only 8 guns on each broadside, so maybe. Let's see, where are they? I think they're probably in here. Um, yeah, they are. So, what if we get our cruisers down here? Let's do that. Let's move the Lexington and the Ranger to the Caribbean. And there we go. What else have we on the East Coast then? Um, two New York class battleships. I think that's enough. Um, especially Russia doesn't have anything there, so that should be fine. Box size increasing, fleet tactics, that's nice. Machinery, destroyer screens, points, mainly for them. Ooh, there we go. Lovely, I like that. So here we go. Very good success. Our Lexington class battle cruiser up here has spotted a ship, and that would be. Let's see. Come on, here's spotting a ship. There we go. Um, so, firstly, increase speed. Go towards that direction. Let's see your range. Lovely. Love it. Um, our ships are really optimized for speed, so I think that should be fine. Unless, of course, they are. We are in fire on them already. What speed have you got? Well, we don't know, but. Ah, it's in fact a light cruiser. 20 knots. Maybe it's a bit older. Let's get things up a bit over here. Just a small battle, but still a nice first demonstration of our light cruiser, of our, our battle cruiser. I think that was a hit. Um, it would be a hit of the 12th. So that's nice to see. Uh, let's look over here. Yeah, you have four. The two super firing turrets are, are doing their work, so that's really lovely to see. I would like the. Um, off guns to get into action a bit more just so I don't um, waste all the ammo yeah there we go come on just shoot a bit shoot a bit hit come on oh well let's get back into there let's get a bit closer uh, have you got 6 inch guns or 7 inch guns? yeah you have to be good 7 inch guns 7 inch guns are actually uh, 12 inch gun hit. It should do a fair amount of damage on a light cruiser. Although apparently not enough to really slow it down. 25 knots. We are doing 27 knots still. But the machinery might fail at some point. Although ours are designed to be reliant and, and all that, so. Also another hit won't really uh, do much good for them. Um, so I think we are doing better over here. Are they? Yeah, 20 knots. I think they are 25 at some point. So okay, we seem to be closing, um, but the wind isn't going in working in our favor. Right. Yeah, now we do get the 7-inch guns firing. 
that's very very lovely to see. Yeah, so it's trying to run away a bit, but I think very soon we are seeing that. Are they on fire? No, but they are back to 27 knots, uh, 25 knots actually. Are you fine with all your guns? Yes, you are. I'd like to see that. We can't still have sound damage, uh, completely sunk their ship, major victory, lovely to see. Uh, 11 heavy hits on <laughs> theirs, 8 medium hits, so yeah, good good, good stuff there. Nice. Although, I have to say, the uh, ammo remaining, that is a bit concerning. I mean, for a light cruiser, to sink a light cruiser, it took 40% of our ammo. Forward turrets here, shooting all of their high explosive and a bit more. Hmm. Yeah, that's slightly concerning, but still, we gain a lot of points, so that's very, very lovely to see. Not so nice is that both of our battleship will be delayed for a bit more. Um, these are important ships, which will be ready in about a year. Now, we do have quite a bit of money sitting around. Um, do we want to accelerate these guys? I feel if we were get, getting uh, triple turrets, that might change things a bit. But until then, losing about a million, getting some speed up here. What if we put that at normal pace and maybe they're all getting a bit quicker so it catches up? Yeah, I think that's 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 a good compromise. Right then, um, I do think that's a good intermediate step. I do want to build maybe more of these guys, get more mines. Although the light cruisers should serve that purpose. Um, let me briefly check whether our design for destroyers would be currently kill. Um, Suggest. Uh, can you auto design something? Yeah, so we would have a much higher tonnage ready for that, but I don't think it's. Mm, and swivel central line mounts with two tubes. So overall, a very clean design, I feel. Um, but is it really worthwhile compared to what we got to the polding? Also, you need some mines, otherwise, I want to accept that. Mm, four point guns, that's what we have already. Four torpedo tubes, that's what we have already. A bit more mines, of course no armor, slightly faster. Um, but oh you're short and cramped. Whereas you would be normal medium. Hmm. Not sure that's worthwhile. Really not. Oh well, let's see. Um, so far so good. Um, I think we are making progress over here. We are presumably much stronger than uh, Russia over here now. Um, of course still really not worthwhile in my point of view to challenge um, Russia in the Baltic again. Especially with all of their um, submarines and all that. Our submarines are still coming online so yeah I think things are pretty okay. Coastal batteries of course still fine. Yeah, so everything is okay. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.